everyone. Welcome to Nene's Kitchen. As you can see, I, my kitchen is in the wilderness. Um, it is in the wilderness in beautiful northern Michigan. And I wanted to bring to you a peach cobbler done in the cast iron Dutch oven. So we are going to be putting together a uh, peach cobbler and it is going to cook right over there on that campfire. So what I got here is two cans of the large sliced peaches. We're going to dump that in there, juice and all, like that. And I have a smaller can of crushed pineapple. That lid off. One in there too. And I'm gonna stir that up a little. And I have me some cornstarch. And it put me on probably about oh, one, two, three, probably three tablespoons. I don't know, let's call it four. Okay. So we got four tablespoons of cornstarch. That'll thicken it. Now I have me a white cake mix. You can, <laughs> you can use yellow, it don't matter. And a lucky dog over there. Given our neighbors a piece of his mind. Okay, let's get this cake mix open. <laughs> we got four wheelers going by in the background and a generator, so I hope you can hear me. Anyway, we're going to dump that cake mix right on top of that like that. And I have me a stick of butter. And I'm going to slice it over top of that, kind of evenly as possible. Make sure you have butter all the way around it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that. Okay, and I have butter fingers here. I should have grabbed me a paper towel. So now this is going to put the lid on it like that. And I've got to get the grate put on it. So, <laughs> thank you, assistant. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the grate on the fire. Um, here in just a few minutes and get it on top of there to start cooking. So make sure you stay tuned. This is going to be a good camping peach cobbler. Okay, I got it ready. I'm going to go put it on the fire. And I'll be checking on it, see how it does. A lot of people do it right in the ash. Um, I wasn't quite that brave enough to do it. Um, I didn't have the right things to pick up that heavy cast iron pan. So we're going to try it on top of the grate. I still think it will be great. So make sure you stay tuned. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to check on it real quick. Hey, can, you, can I get your uh, glove? I got my hub's leather glove here. Okay, that is what is going on there. I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer and uh, 
make sure it's done. I'm hoping to get a little brown on the top. We shall see. Just make sure you stay tuned. Okay, we are putting some of the hot ash and coals from our fire on top. That will hopefully speed up uh, the process of browning the top of our peach cobbler. So, all right. So I'm going to let that uh, cook on there for a little while, and then we'll check it. Stay tuned for this. Okay, right here we just have a piece of angle iron that we're using when we went to take a peek and check on that. So um, be very, very careful. This is hot stuff here you're messing with. So, but yeah. That's what we found here, and it's still cooking, and it's starting to get brown. Okay, we are checking it, and it's getting browner and browner, and I think I'm going to give it maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but it is about done. You think? Good. Yeah. Yeah, get the no word about the ashes. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll let it cool off for just a minute, I think. about that. Until next time, guys. Hope y'all have a great one. Toodaloo. Um, see you next time. Bye.